Kia ora. As we approach Waitangi Day this year, I have a question for you. Why did Hone Heke cut down the flagstaff at Kororareka in 1845? Of course, the modern view is that in signing the treaty five years earlier, Heke understood he was entering an equal power-sharing arrangement with the British Crown. Under the treaty, Heke and Governor Hobson would share equal authority. Hobson would govern the Pākehā settlers, whilst Heke and his fellow chiefs would maintain full governing sovereignty over their own people. In fact, one well-known modern historian has even suggested that Heke wanted to see two flags flying on the flagstaff, the Union Jack and the flag of the United Tribes. And it was because this expectation of equal partnership had not been met that Heke cut down the flagstaff. So that's the modern view. But how well does it reflect Heke's views and the facts of history? Well, the historian who made the statement about two flags flying cited an historical document from the time in support of her claim. And given the significance of that claim, I thought I should check the source. So I came here, right here, to the Auckland Museum Library where the documents were held. They were actually the journals of missionary John Hobbs. The librarians were very helpful. They retrieved the documents from the archives for me and I looked up the reference. But I was a little bit surprised because they didn't specifically refer to two flags flying. They said something a little bit different. But from that, this historian had inferred, rather implausibly, I think, the notion that Heke wanted to see two flags flying. And I say rather implausibly because there's plenty of other historical evidence that initially at least, Heke understood the treaty in the traditional sense. Yes, he expected his land to be protected, his chieftainship to be honoured, but he knew that those things would occur within the context of the overarching sovereignty of the Crown over all New Zealanders, including himself. The problem was that since 1840 Heke had lost trust in the British Crown for various reasons, some of them understandable, and now he wanted out of the treaty, hence his attack on the flagstaff. You say, well, what is this other evidence? Well, I've outlined much of it in my new book, One Sun in the Sky, The Untold Story of Sovereignty and the Treaty of Waitangi. It's an important book for New Zealand. You can get a copy online at onesuninthesky.com. That's one sun in the sky, all one word, dot com. You know, the treaty settlement's journey has brought our nation to a positive new place as we've faced some long-standing injustices from the past. But you know, we also need to let our history speak to us on this important issue of sovereignty and the treaty. It's the only way we'll build true national unity, kotahitanga. And that's what we all want, isn't it? I'm Ewan McQueen. Have a great Waitangi weekend.